Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to ARK. It is the morning of day 6. All the dinos are hanging out. Everything is all good. Now the first thing I want to do this morning is unlock the cryopod recipe. With this thing we can store our tame dinos in our pocket. So I'm going to try and craft two of these this morning. But first we need to go get some crystal and polymer. Now last night I did craft a fur hat, fur gloves, and fur boots. But that's all I was able to make because I ran out of pelt. So hopefully that's enough to keep us from freezing in the snow biome. Because that's where we're going to get our polymer and possibly our crystal as well. Now last night I also crafted and placed down a behemoth gateway. I lined it up with the front of our base using this uh, stone fence foundation here. So it's looking good. It's fucking massive. Uh, I also put in another doorway right here and a window. I figured, what the hell, now we have another entryway into this place along with our original entryway, uh, this dino gateway, and then this giant behemoth right here, which actually runs all the way to the water line. So I'm not sure if I want to continue the base over the water or just start pushing it back towards the wall. I don't know yet. Just kind of figuring this out as I go along here. Now for this area, I was thinking maybe I can wall it off and load it up with storage and use it as like a shed or something like that. Or we could possibly build up and run it across to our main area, you know, via like the third story and then have stairs that come down into our main base. I'm not sure, like I said, just kind of figuring this out as we go along here. But it's coming together somewhat. Anyway, let's uh, use Neebs here to get on top of this place. That's why I need steps leading up to the rooftop. So I can get to Dora without having to use Neebs or Thick. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Okay, oh, Dora's got a level. Let me check her inventory also. I think that's enough meat for now. Let's throw a point into weight and stamina. And we are off. First place we are going, like I said, is to the snow biome. We need to get some polymer, but we can also use organic polymer. And we're going to get that by doing something that you animal lovers are not going to like. We're going to go beat the shit out of some penguins. And it's going to be tough to see, but it's just something we got to do. Hey, it's a survival game. Survival of the fittest. It's not my fault they're short and wobbly and can't defend themselves. And they're just full of organic polymer, which is what we need. It's not my fault, but it's something we got to do. So we're going to go murder some penguins. And then from there, we need to go get crystal. Now, apparently the snow biome is loaded up with crystal, so we'll see if we can find some. It just depends on whether or not we're freezing. Because if we're freezing, we're just going to get the organic polymer and then get the hell out of there, and there are other places we can go to get crystal. But if we're not freezing, and we can find some quickly and easily, then we'll grab everything we need while we're there, then get back home, gather up the rest of the supplies we're going to need, and then we need to craft these cryopods in either a supply drop or one of these obelisks. So we'll just see whatever's more convenient. And then once we have the cryopods crafted, my plan is to head back south. I wanna pick up Chloe in one of the cryopods and I'm gonna use the other one to carry a beaver. Granted, we can tame one successfully. Let's stop here real quick and get our stamina back before we proceed any further. And we're cold right now, but we're not freezing. So that's a good sign. But we did just enter the snow biome, so it may get worse. We'll keep an eye on that. As long as we stay being cold, that's fine. But once we start freezing, I believe we start losing health. So we just got to keep an eye on that. Got some penguins right here. Uh, this is going to be quick and painless. Well, not for the penguins. We got some mammoths in the background and a buck right here. Nothing dangerous, though. So let's just get this over with. I'm sorry about this. But it's got to happen. I need your polymer. Come here. Time to die. Oh, one down. <laughs> All right. Now I've made a club because apparently clubbing these fucking penguins is the way to get the most polymer out of them. So I'm sorry for this, but like I said, it's got to happen. All right. That's more than we're going to need. And the rest of them ran off. I'm not going to go chasing any more down. I feel bad enough. Let's just get the hell out of here before anyone sees what we did. And since we're not freezing, let's just head up towards the top of this mountain here. We should definitely find some crystal up here. We may start freezing, though, once we hit this higher elevation. Oh, we're up on the top of the mountain here. 
Not freezing yet, so that's good. And here is some crystal. Nice. I don't know how much of this shit we're gonna be able to carry. But our weight is looking good right now. The organic polymer hardly weighs a thing. Let's drop the stone. We don't need that weighing us down. And let's get a little more. Alright, that should be good. Again, let's drop the stone. Let's drop this hide. And we got some rare mushrooms. We'll hold on to those. And Dora, are you good with this weight? Oh yeah, she's good. Alright, we got more than enough crystal, more than enough polymer. Let's head home, we'll get the rest of the shit we're gonna need, and then we'll go to either a supply drop or an obelisk, get these cryopods crafted, and then we'll go from there. Let's check this drop real quick. Might as well. A saddle, an apprentice pulmano scorpius saddle. Okay. I'll take it. Whatever it is, figure it out later. All the dinos looking safe and sound, that's good. Let's get what we're gonna need and get the hell out of here. We're actually also gonna need some narcotics because apparently the beavers don't stay knocked out for that long. And we need uh, vegetables. I think that's what beavers like. We'll take the carrots and the lemons too, why not? All right, let's go. We're taking Dora again, of course. Dora is just the MVP of this episode again. Dora, I think, is going to be our most handy dinosaur. That is until we... Uh, oh, we need more meat. Let's just grab it out of Neves here. But yeah, until we can tame um, a more aggressive or a better flyer like an eagle or an Argo, I believe they're called in the game. Uh, Dora is going to be our number one here for getting around the island. So let's go. I don't think this drop has come down yet. And it's kind of in like an awkward position on the cliff side here. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just use the obelisk. Parker right here. Let me just go up to this thing, access the inventory, drop in all the stuff we're going to need to craft these cryopods. It's under weapons for some reason. And let's get two of them crafted. There we go. All right, and we got a level right there. Let's throw that into stamina. And let's go. What do you say, Dora? We go pick up Chloe first, and then we'll go try and tame a beaver? That sounds like a good plan. Also, I noticed it was actually day seven. I said at the beginning of the episode that it was the morning of day six. That's because I forgot that I spent a day off camera gathering resources. And this game is a bit grindy. There is a lot of resource gathering that has to happen. So occasionally, yes, I'll probably spend a day off camera doing that. But I won't do anything that's game changing. You know, well, actually, with dinosaurs now in play, that will help us gather resources more quickly. I may not have to do that anymore, so we'll see. I just wanted to address that because, like I said at the beginning of the episode, I said it was the morning of day six. It's actually day seven. And there's the base, and there's Chloe. She's still alive. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me park Dora here. Ah, oh, Chloe, it feels like it's been forever since I saw you. Thank God you're still alive. Let me check your inventory here. Oh, you had plenty of food. Oh, that's a good thing. Hey, listen, I'm going to put you inside this little box. It's kind of like, you know your favorite movie, Aladdin, where the genie comes out of the bottle? Well, it's kind of like that, but in reverse. Hope it doesn't hurt. There we go. <laughs> she dropped the bag. I guess she can't take any... Uh, inventory in the cryopod with her so we'll just grab those berries and uh throw chloe in our inventory get the hell out of here actually wait i wanted to grab something out of here there's a raptor skin right here bam we'll throw that on absaro when we get home all right let's go find a beaver well there's a beaver dam and a couple of beavers swimming around in the water this might be a little challenging but i think we can pull it off there's a snake over there. Maybe we should deal with that first. Well, it's alive. Dora, get over here. Oh, shit. There we go. Dora's poisoned. All right. She's over it. And we got a Sarko. Fuck you. Now we got to do this fighting first. 
I certainly can't set up a beaver trap on a beach with a giant crocodile. No, oh, that didn't go well. All right, we're okay. Let's get up on top of this rock, get some stamina back. All right, I don't know where the snake went, but the crocodile is, uh... Oh, shit, he looks interested in the beavers. Oh, damn it. He's in the water now. And he's fighting the beavers. And he looks bloody. I heard beavers are pretty nasty. So the two of them should be able to take it out. Oh, fucking snake. Two more snakes. And a dilo. Here we go. Fighting isn't over. Take out this Dilo myself. The crocodile is dead. Oh, it's a couple. Three of them. Oh, shit. This might have been a bad idea. Level 84. Fuck. Oh, boy. Come on. Die, you sons of bitches. All right. Are we good? What's happening over here? Dora, are you good? Oh, fucking mosquitoes. If it ain't one thing, it's another on this godforsaken island. All right, we are good. Now, we gotta make a beaver trap, so we need thatch, wood, and fiber. Okay, I hope wood's gonna hold up. Now we just need a couple of ramps. We need more thatch. All right, here we go. Wood trap versus a beaver. Probably not the smartest thing, but hey, I've done dumber shit before. Come on, beaver. Let's go right up the ramp. Oh, God. Let me out. There we go. All right, now let's just pump arrows into this thing before it chews its way out of there. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's hurt already. It's trying to run away. Let's get one more arrow into it. Down it goes. Sweet. Level 12 female. Yeah, I figured it was a low level since it went down so quickly, but that's fine. I'll take it. It's just going to be... Uh, we're just going to use her to harvest wood anyway. It's not like she's going to be a fighter. But look how quick her uh, unconsciousness is going down. Once that purple bar goes down all the way, she'll wake up. So that's why I brought the narcotics with me. Once that purple bar gets down a little bit further, we can force feed her some narcotics and that will make that purple bar go back up and keep her unconscious until she's tamed. All right, there we go. You have tamed a beaver. What's the name of your beaver? Bev. Bev the Beave. <laughs> All right, Bev. Have you ever seen the movie Aladdin? Because this is going to be kind of like the genie in the lamp thing, but in reverse. All right, we got Bev in the cryopod. Let's grab our vegetables out of that bag. And uh, let's get out of here. I would knock down the trap, but then we'll be overloaded and uh, Dora won't be able to fly us home. So we'll just leave the trap there for now. Oh, shit. As it is, we're overloaded. What, uh... What am I carrying that's too heavy? Oh, shit. All right, let's get rid of this fiber and wood and stone. That should be good enough. There we go. Might as well check this drop first. Ooh. Gilly leggings and uh, journeyman chitin boots. Okay. That's cool. We got the ghillie boots. Now we got ghillie leggings also. Maybe we can get the full suit. Let's, um get parked here on the rooftop. We need to get a saddle crafted for Bev. All right, there's Chloe. Yeah, she took a shit right as she came out. I guess being stuck in a cryopod will do that to you. And there's Bev. Oh, Bev got the cryo sickness. So she's going to be passed out for a little bit. All right, we'll let her sleep. Okay, so for this saddle for Bev, we need 140 cementing paste, 100 pieces of metal, the other stuff is easy. I don't think we have either the cementing paste or the metal that we're going to need, though. We have a good amount of chitin, and we have plenty of stone, so we can certainly craft what we're going to need. 
because that's all you need to craft cementing paste, chitin and stone, or you can use keratin and stone, which we also have. So let's get uh, the cementing paste moving, and then we're going to have to go get some more metal. Oh, he's got uh, four levels here. Let's go health, stamina, and then melee damage twice. You got any levels, Bev? She's got one, but I can't use it yet because she's uh, unconscious. All right. Let's uh, throw this skin on Absaro. Oh, Absaro's got a level. Let's go uh, melee damage. Drag this skin over. Bam, now Absaro's a cartoon. Look at that, that's fucking sick. What are you saying, Absaro? You want to go murder some things? I'm fine with that. We got a buck right here. Let's murder it. Get some more pelt that we're going to need to finish off that fur armor. Die, bitch. Hey, sheep. Wrong place, wrong time. Now Absaro's going to have to eat that ass. All right, I think that satisfied Absaro's killing needs for now. Um, I thought I had more stone, but I used a lot of it on that behemoth gateway. I don't think Stoner has any more in her inventory. Nope. Let's go get some more then. Stoner's got a level. Let's go melee damage. What is this psycho pet doing? Just beating its head against the ground? All right, let's put this thing out of its misery. We'll use Neebs. Jump in right through his asshole. <laughs> That's how you get on Neebs' saddle. You jump in through the asshole. All right, buddy. Time for you to die. Get out of here. You're scaring the Simons. You all okay in here? Harry? Dirty Thief? I know I was going to name this one Sloth, but Dirty Thief seems to fit her better. Look at the Simons all scared. What's the matter? That big dinosaur scared the shit out of you? Good. That's what you're supposed to do. Shit. All right, stoner. Let's go get some stone. All right, while the cementing paste is crafting, we're going to take Dora up towards the volcano. There should be some metal rocks up here that we can harvest for a shit ton of metal instead of messing around getting a little bit here and there from the river rocks. Now, obviously we're limited to Dora's carrying capacity, but we should be able to scoop up at least 100 pieces or so and still be able to fly Dora back home. All right, we got some of the rocks right here. I don't see any dangerous dinos around, so let's park Dora. Get our pickaxe out. I know it looks like gold, but these are metal rocks. Yeah, look at all that metal. Sweet. And we'll dump the stone, because uh, no reason to hang on to that shit. 111 pieces of metal. Let's dump the stone. Um, I'm sure Dora can fly out of here still, right? Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get a little more. All right, 161 pieces of metal. Now it takes two pieces of metal to make one metal bar. So that right there is 80 metal bars. We have 69 back home, so that's 149. We need 140 for the beaver saddle, so we're good. We're just going to have to take Dora on another trip up to this mountain maybe tomorrow and get some more metal because we're only going to have nine pieces left. But anyway, let's get home, get this shit smelting down, get this saddle crafted, and we can take the beaver out for a spin. I forgot to show you guys this, even though most of you probably already know, but you can ride on the shoulders of your Bigfoot. How cool is that? He's got a level. Let's go ahead and spend it. Three of them. I'm going to go wait, melee damage, and health. He can't move around very fast right now because my inventory is overloaded. But look how high he can jump. That's how I got him in here. I just jumped right over the wall. So that's pretty cool. Or you can let him wander around and he'll harvest fiber for you. But for now, I'm just going to let him chill. You're not a prisoner here, Harry. You can leave whenever you want. Just not right now. Uh, we'll talk later. Okay. Uh, let's uh, grab the rest of this cementing paste here. And that should be enough to get this saddle crafted. No? Oh, duh. I got to move all this shit over. Okay, cementing paste, metal, fiber, hide, thatch. 
Are we good? Yes. All right, I got a saddle for you, Bev. Oh, you got three levels? Let's go ahead and spend those health, stamina, and melee damage. She likes that. Now, let's go chop down some trees. Damn. Holy shit, that's a lot of wood. We are definitely encumbered. Bev can't move. She's got a level. We can throw that into weight. She still can't move. We're gonna have to drop some of this wood and make a couple of trips here. All right, I'm back, Dora. We're going for one more ride. You got a level? Let's go wait. And there's a supply drop that's coming in. I want to go check it out real quick. See what we got over here. Look at this. We got a beaver dam. We didn't even have to go all the way down south. We got beavers right here. Which reminds me, I forgot to loot the beaver dam before. So maybe we'll loot this one. We just got to be careful because the beavers don't like that. Um, what is this? A flashlight attachment? And another saddle? Alright, taking both of those things. And, uh, I don't know... If I'm gonna be able to loot this beaver dam without getting in too much trouble here, maybe... If I set Dora to follow, and I jump in the water, Dora, Dora should kind of hover above me. And then I believe I can jump on Dora from being in the water. So maybe we can just grab the loot, jump on door, and get the hell out of here real quick. <laughs> Let's try. Here's a beaver dam. Okay. Dora. Yeah, let's just set her to follow so she doesn't fly away. And let's just grab all the loot. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. I fucked up. Guys, I fucked up. I shouldn't have grabbed everything. Oh, man. Dump the wood. Oh, we're getting attacked. Dump the wood. Oh my god, my armor's broken. Dora! Let's get the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Oh, I'm still too heavy. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Uh, what else can I drop? More wood? Drop it. Drop it. Go! Holy shit. Wow, that's definitely the closest we ever came to dying so far. I'm such an idiot. This is how my brain works, all right? Um, now, if you don't take all the loot out of a beaver dam, it doesn't destroy itself. So it'll just remain there. So you want to pull all the loot out. This way, the, the dam gets destroyed, and it will respawn. So that was in my mind, to just take all the loot. Totally forgetting about encumbrance and the fact that Dora wasn't going to be able to fly us out of there. I mean, I remembered it as I was pulling all the loot out. I'm like, I saw all the wood. I'm like, we're fucked. I accidentally paused the game, as you saw. That was crazy. But we're okay. Look, our broken bone is already healed. I need to repair all this chitin armor. And uh, I think I'm going to end the episode there. Where I'm just about dead. <laughs> so that was the closest call we've had so far. But hey, we made it. Didn't die, so it doesn't count as a death. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. We'll pick things up in the morning, and I think we'll do a little work on the base in the next episode. So like I said, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. Dora, you got to go up on the roof. Let's put her up there. She's still set to follow, that's why. There we go. All right, guys. That's going to be it. Uh, again, thank you all so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more ARC, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.